Hey guys, this is Andre with the Andre Lifestyle. Welcome back to my channel. This is a self-improvement channel where I document and educate my audience on what I've experienced in the military, the health and fitness rules that I live by, the self-improvement books that I've read, and the travel destinations that I recommend. Subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with new great content every week. Okay, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about the different punishments that you will receive most likely during Coast Guard boot camp. Okay, I've wanted to make this video for a while. As usual, I have some notes. That way, I can stay on topic and not continue blabbing on. Luckily, I got my favorite drink, some wine. Mm-hmm. Mm. Some Chardonnay. All right, so let's get this video started. The first punishment that you will most likely, or will, I know, will receive during Coast Guard boot camp is called beatings. Okay? And what beatings are, it's not getting punched in the face or getting hit with a stick. Beatings in Coast Guard boot camp are when your company commanders will make you do exercises. It doesn't sound very bad, does it, at this moment, but trust me, when you're doing it, after a while, after a while, because of someone else's mistakes, it starts to get really annoying. Okay, so beatings are like flutter kicks, push-ups, crunches, um, one beating in particular that I especially hated was balancing thing or uh, holding things out in front of you, like your canteen, your weapon, right, your rifle. That was annoying. So I mean, I mean holding it out, I mean holding it out for long periods of time. Th those were called beatings. One in particular, um, I've gotten this beating before, was holding the rifle out in front of me, like, like so, holding it in front of me, and putting one hand behind my back, holding it in front of me, and then uh, he would be counting, I think by threes, or no, he'd be counting one, one, two, three, one, two, three, something like that. I can't remember exactly how it was, but then he would stop counting and you had to hold it out in front of you. That was a beating and that was the crappiest beating I ever got because you have to balance it. If you drop it, you have to stay in that position. You have to continue doing the exercise for even longer. Okay, so that's beating. Now, the next thing is counseling statements. Counseling statements are a way for the company commanders to, in my opinion, to scare you, okay? Because counseling statements are your personal records during Coast Guard boot camp. Um, whenever you make a mistake, um, it's put, it's written down on a piece of paper and put into your Coast Guard boot camp uh, personal record file or whatever it is. It has no effect on you during the rest of your military career in the Coast Guard, but the, the reason why they use it is they want to weed out the troublemakers. So if you're continue, continually uh, getting counseling statements, you will most likely get reverted. And I'm going to explain what reversion, what, re, what being reverted means. Trust me guys, it sucks when you get reverted. I've never been reverted. I've just seen other people get reverted and it sucks. Okay. Next thing, you gotta take a swig of this wine first. Mm. Ah, the red belt, or in other words, probation. Yours truly was on the red belt. I was on probation at one point. Probation lasts for as long as it needs to. It usually lasts between 
three to five days during Coast Guard boot camp. And what the red belt signifies is that you're a troublemaker, that you messed up really badly. So they put this red, this this red, uh, really bright red belt around your your waist that you have to wear with you at all times. And when I mean all times, that means probably the only time you can take it off is when you're taking a shower. Other than that, you're wearing the red belt over your Coast Guard uniform, um, over your PT uniform. Even when you're sleeping, you're wearing this red belt. So like I said, it, it signifies that you have messed up during Coast Guard boot camp. So company commanders, not just in your company, not just in your class, company commanders from all over the base are gonna see your red belt and they're gonna they're gonna fuck with you, okay? They're going to ask you required knowledge questions on the spot. And if you don't know them, they're gonna write, what was it called? I forget what was it called, what it was called. In Coast Guard Boot Camp, they give you this, what is it called? Man, I wish I remembered. It's this piece of paper that you have to renew every single day. So you have to date it every single day, fill it out correctly every single day. And uh, you, if you got in trouble throughout the day, because your company commanders aren't with you all day, every day, right? Because you have classes, you're going to classes and stuff. And if you mess up from any other company commander any time during the day, you had to take that piece of paper out. The company commander that corrected you or, or disciplined you or, or gave you a beating or whatever would write down, didn't know his required knowledge, right? At the end of the day, at the in the evening, right? It was oh, right before it was time to go to bed. The company commanders would collect everyone's piece of paper, I forget what it's called, I can't remember right now, but they would collect everyone's and uh, they would go through them and uh, most likely you get a counseling statement if you got one of those. So everyone was always on their best behavior. So uh, yeah, red belt, you do not want to be on the red belt, I was on it. You're constantly going to be drilled with um, required knowledge questions. So during, just something personal about me, during Coast Guard boot camp, I had trouble learning how to talk correctly. If you've seen my other vlogs about Coast Guard boot camp, I tell you that there's a certain way you need to speak in Coast Guard boot camp, right? I had trouble with that. I had trouble with the required knowledge, trying to memorize everything. Uh, every week it, it, it changed, right? Not only did you know, need to know everything from week one, you didn't know everything for week two, week three, and and before that. So you had to know from week one to week three. When it came to week four, you need to know from week one to week four, right? And and so on. I had trouble with that, trying to memorize everything and, and keep it together and having the confidence to speak and answer the questions in the right manner that they asked of me, right? That's not the reason I was on the red belt. That's for another video, but I was in the red belt, and thanks to the red belt, I learned how to talk correctly, very, very quickly, and I learned my required knowledge um, very well, okay? So red belt, you do not want to be on it. Now the last thing, I believe, that I have in my notes, and I'm right, oh no, it's not the last thing, second to last thing, this is, this is ramp. Ramp in Coast Guard boot camp. I've never been in ramp, right? But from what I saw outside my window and from what I heard from survivors that survived it that came back into my class, it is the worst thing physically that you can go through during Coast Guard boot camp. So, ramp. I don't even remember what it stands for, but ramp is in Coast Guard boot camp is for those individuals that the company commanders think they need a little bit of help. If you don't pass ramp, you're getting reverted. And that, and I'm gonna tell you at the very end what reversion means, but you're getting reverted if uh, you don't pass ramp. And with ramp, it's basically extreme beatings. So regular beatings, you're doing push-ups and all that. In ramp, you're doing that plus more. 
right? So in ramp, I could see people carrying ammo cans on both hands, uh, with both hands, and uh, running around the parade field, right? The parade field's maybe a mile every time you go around it. Or, uh, maybe I'm exaggerating. Maybe going around the parade field two or three times is a mile, right? And I would see people doing that all day long, right? So in ramp, from the second you wake up to the second you go to sleep, until the second you go to sleep, you're doing uh, exercises. You're, do, you're getting beat basically throughout the whole day, and that's ramp. Ramp lasts from three to five days, I believe, right? There have been people that just quit right then. They're like, I can't do this physical activity. I don't want to do this, and they just quit. But then there are people that are thankful for going through that, you know? And then from then on are on their best behavior during Coast Guard boot camp. All right, now the last thing, and probably the worst punishment that you could get during Coast Guard boot camp is reversion. Guys, reversion means, finally I'm gonna tell you the definition, Reversion, hold on one sec, take a swig. Mm. Ah, it's nice. Anyways, reversion means you will go back a week in Coast Guard boot camp. I'm gonna let that set in. Yeah. So, going back a week in Coast Guard boot camp means the company that you started with, right? Let's say you started in alpha company because each company is an alphabetical order, right? There's alpha, bravo, charlie, delta, echo, right? So you start an alpha company. You get reverted, so now you go back into bravo company. So in alpha company, you're in week two. Bravo company is in week one. See what I'm saying? So if you get reverted from alpha company, in week two, you get reverted back to, to Bravo Company. That's in week one. So you're doing week one all over again. Right, you've already been through it, but you're doing it all over again. And the reason, the, I, I, I believe the Coast Guard is the only military branch that reverts their recruits back a week, back two weeks, back three weeks, it doesn't matter. I've heard of people about to graduate three days from graduation, two days from uh, the day of graduation, and getting reverted all the way back to week one, week two, week three, right? It's such an awful thing to happen to someone. And I've seen it happen to so many of my peers. For instance, in my company, this is just a rough estimate, but I remember we started around 100 recruits. On the day of graduation, from the original class that I was in, I think there was only 48 of us. 48, between 40 or 52 of us that were from the original golf company class. Golf 193 class. There's maybe between 48 to 52 of us, the original people. So that means nearly half of golf, of the people that started with us in golf 103 were wiped out because of reversion. So, my advice to you, if you're going to Coast Guard boot camp soon, or you're thinking of joining the Coast Guard, just know this. Watch my other vlogs. Watch my, my vlog about Coast Guard Boot Camp versus Army Boot Camp. There's a reason why I say at the very end, Coast Guard Boot Camp was way harder for me than Army Boot Camp ever was. And it's because Coast Guard Boot Camp is more mentally straining, more mentally difficult. Army Boot Camp is more physically based, more physically difficult. Right? The mind is what the Coast Guard fucks with, all right? <laughs> um, and it, it definitely, it took its toll on me. 
like I say, like I said in my first vlog ever, the day I graduated was the best feeling, best day of my life. It was so amazing. Because I just went through eight weeks of the most, the most difficult eight weeks ever, right? And I made it through with the original Golf 103. A shout out to all, all uh, the people that graduated that day. And uh, I just, just so grateful. I'm grateful for that experience. And I know if you're gonna join the Coast Guard, you're gonna be grateful. Once you graduate, you're gonna be grateful for that experience as well. So I, I, uh, I've wa been wanting to make this video for a long time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please like it. Please share this video. Comment on this video. Right, share this video. Um, what else? Subscribe to my channel, guys. Subscribe to this channel. I come out with uh, content every single week, or at least I try to, every single week, all right? Please support me, and uh, as always, live the lifestyle that you want to live.